This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But this is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Nobody try anything. Harder on yourselves. If they try anything, shoot them. You'll go to the guillotine for this. Hands where I can see them. Monsters! No sudden movements. Watch them, men. God will judge you. Keep an eye on them, bastards. Sons of bitches! I'll sacrifice you, maggot! Thank you. You can thank me by getting to the walls and stopping these killings. We must be. Enough! No singing! Another drunken lout. 
Oh well, got better things to do. Fast men! Cut them down! Protect the prisoners! Death to the traitors! Bring them back! Vive la Révolution! Steady! Into the breach! Hold that line! Ah. Kill them all! Ah. Avoid that one! Your delivery rate will rule yes. like Caron's fire. Shift that Mouth much weight forward. Talent on display. <laughs> Only when your opponent is off balance. on the roof good lad <laughs> come on boys upstairs This is you! <laughs> 
Tut, tut, Warden. Your brother will think you rude. Mine. He's lost a bit of weight since last you saw him. <laughs> oh, are you so kin, Warden? Well, I'm terribly sorry, Warden. Only, well, I couldn't find the rest of him. <laughs> well, if you don't want it, I suppose... I suppose it would make a fine souvenir. Allons au fond de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé. Come on, sing, sing! Come now, Warden. Let's have a cheer. Vive la révolution! What's the matter? Not a fan of liberty? Freedom <coughs> bores you. <coughs> ah! Look, uh, word with you. He misses That's you. <laughs> tut, tut, Warden. Your brother will think you rude. Mike, <coughs> he's lost a bit of weight since last you saw him. Are you sulking, Warden? Well, I'm terribly sorry, Warden. Only, well, we couldn't find the rest of him. <laughs> well, if you don't want it, I suppose... Oh, I suppose it would make a fine souvenir. Allons <laughs> enfants de la patrie, le jour de gloire. couldn't find the rest of him. <laughs> well, if you don't want it, I suppose... I suppose it would make a fine souvenir. Allons à bord de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé. Come on, sing! Come now, Warden. Let's have a cheer. Vive la Révolution! What's the matter? Not a fan of liberty. Freedom bores you. Ah, look. He misses you. <laughs> tut, tut, Warden. Your brother will think you rude. Mine. He's lost a bit of weight since last you saw him. You got any good ones? to remove us from this hall. You must also get authority to use force, for we shall yield to nothing but bayonets!
ministers to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely France deserves better. What was that? Palais de Luxembourg. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Marie. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. No! Put me back! Put me back! Ugh. 